expect to have them ready on Saturday. I know that I said that last week and, and didn't quite get there, but um, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at a really good week of practice and having those guys available. And uh, Big City Man spent a lot of time in this building. Um, what stands out about what you'll be doing at the Scouts? I think it just started when you know, he was at, at Cincinnati and what he did there and what he built. Um, his team's always well coached. Certainly, he um, you know, left a lot behind here as a player and, and as a coach. Um, you know, very well respected by so many, and so we know, you know, going in that uh, you know they're going to be well coached. They're going to play hard. And, um, you know, they have a bunch of guys on that staff with great experience, and so nothing but respect for for Luke, uh, his staff, the team, the program. Uh, Wisconsin's always been you know an excellent program, and, and Luke's done a great job. Second, like third row left, Jeff Gilbert, Press Pros. Coach, uh, Travion, when he does play, hopefully this weekend, as you yeah. said, how much difference? We hope he makes um, a, a big impact. Certainly, you know, you know, uh, we know that you know he can hit home runs, and we did that in the Notre Dame game. And certainly, that was a, a big difference in what we we're doing. Um, we have confidence in all of our running backs, but you know, uh, he does allow us the opportunity to to, to hit a home run and, and be explosive. So that doesn't just happen. There's a lot that comes with that. But you know, uh, you know, hopefully, we get a good week of practice and, and go put it on the field. Uh, second row left, Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com. Just to kind of piggyback on the question that, that Pat asked you before, but you were on the staff in 2017 and 2018 when, when you had those uh, kind of unexpected losses. Did that experience inform how you would maybe approach things since then? Has, has the program's become your own? Are there things that you've tried to emphasize to not have those sorts of unexpected collapses? Yeah, um, every year you learn things. You, know, you identify the things that you did well, and then, and then you recognize the things that uh, you have to improve on. And every year you learn. You learn about your staff, you learn about the players, uh, you learn the recruiting, how to adapt. But, but you also learn as the season goes on things that have happened, things that you've recognized where you have to make sure that you're communicating some things that may happen a certain way and you try to communicate that to your team and make sure that everyone's aware of that so you don't get ambushed. Um, and again, you know, the more experience you have, you try to do the best you can to relay it to everybody to make sure they're prepared. Because our goal, again, is to put them in the best situation to be successful. And, um, and so that's why we have to have a great week of practice to make sure we're all in front of this, we're playing our best football all on Saturday night.